Ipswich Town's chief executive Simon Clegg has been facing fans tonight at their AGM on the day manager Paul Jewell quit the club. Ipswich are bottom of the championship after 11 games without a win. James Burridge reports. Not for the first time, Ipswich Town are in a state of flux. Without a manager, bottom of the championship, needing someone to rescue them. It also happened on the very night the fans had planned their AGM to voice their concerns. Jules, uh, a nice enough guy, but unfortunately wasn't able to deliver the results for us. Oh, I honestly think there's a deeper malaise at the club than just the manager. Uh, Jules had really lost the fans, at least, and certainly uh, didn't seem to be very confident of his own abilities. Two big-name managers have now failed to deliver in recent seasons at a club which appears to have lost its way. Roy Keane lasted 20 months, Paul Jewell 21. Simon Clegg admitted both he and owner Marcus Evans had to shoulder the responsibility. I accept in situations like this, the chief executive, chairman and owner of a football club have to take the, some responsibility and expect to take some flack. It happens at other clubs. All I can tell people is that, uh, and particularly to our loyal fans, that we're determined to get uh, the next manager in here as quickly as possible. This is the moment Paul Jewell left Ipswich Town for good. He came to the training ground this morning for a short meeting with Clegg, which lasted around 10 minutes. The writing, though, was already on the wall after another torrid night at Portman Road. The 2-1 defeat to Derby, their 11th game without a win. The list of Paul Jewell's replacements is as high as 34. One report says Ipswich may have made contact with Dougie Friedman, who was supposed to be joining Bolton. But finding the right man is one thing, sorting out the mess quite another. James Burridge, BBC Lickeast.